Okay, welcome back. We're going to talk about um, loops in Scratch today. They're really helpful with making games and pretty much any program that you use in Scratch, you're going to want to use um, loops. And you have the repeat. This is one of the loops and forever is another one. There are others as well. Um, you have repeat until and this will actually repeat until something happens. We're going to focus on that in another video, uh, more advanced loops. We're going to just focus on two of the basic loops here. Um, repeat until and then forever. So let's take a look at the repeat. Essentially it is what it what it does. It'll repeat however many times you have it do something. So if I, I'm just going to attach an event on top of this. And then I'm going to go to looks and you know there's you could pretty much stack anything in here. I'm gonna have it just change size. And it's gonna change size by 10, and it's gonna do that 10 times, okay? So if I press the space bar, it's gonna grow, it's gonna grow. Now notice it did that very, very quickly, and so I'm gonna actually subtract this now, and I'm gonna repeat this thing and have it go back down to the way it was. And then what I'm gonna do is actually put a control on this and put a weight so that you can actually see how this works. So what's gonna happen when I hit the space bar, it's gonna repeat 10 times. It's gonna do wait one, wait one second, change size by 10, not negative 10. Okay. And then it's gonna go and go back to the top of this and wait one second, change size by 10, wait one second, change size by 10, wait one second, change size by 10. And it's gonna do that 10 times because that's what the loop tells it to do. So if I hit repeat, or hit the space bar, it will now go up and it's waiting one second and then growing by 10. Wait one second, change size by 10, change size, you know, and so on. And it's doing that over and over and over, okay? Now, that's kind of how the repeat works and you can change this. You can, you know, make it 100 if you wanted to, okay? However, you know, whatever you wanted to do, it'll run this for 100 times. So that's kind of what the wait until does, all right? And we're gonna, drag oh I guess we'll kind of we'll leave this here we'll use the forever now the thing with the forever and these are actually really helpful with things like you're gonna use with an if statement you're gonna use with things like that like you wanna let's say you're gonna use an if statement and check to see if something is going to be done um, and you want it checked all the time in scratch maybe it's um, in a game if that character um, gets hit by something it's gonna lose some life if it um, does something like that and you want it to happen all the time throughout the game then you would use a forever and if i actually drag these down here and now what's going to happen it's going to do this forever and so my character will grow forever and it's just going to sit here and run this loop wait one second change size by 10 wait one second change size by 10 wait one second, and, and so on and it's going to run this loop forever and it will it will continually run this forever until you stop it okay and the way to stop it is just hit the stop sign up here so my character is just going to continue to grow and grow and grow um, so the forever loop really helpful you could have it do you know check an if statement and things like that but that's kind of what the loops are for is to have something run for a set amount of time or forever now if I want to stop this and then I'm going to do negative 10. And let's take the weight out of this. You're gonna find that it's gonna go very quickly. And eventually my character is gonna get down to a point that he, it's just incredibly tiny. And so then, you know, I can always go to looks up here if I wanted to and set the size to 100. And it would go back to its size, okay. So that's kind of how the, the two basic loops that we have in Scratch. There are others as we talked about and we'll get into that in another video um, but these are the two basic loops you have the repeat for a set amount of times and then forever and you know these are very very helpful with games especially the forever i feel like is very very helpful with games and you don't have to have this forever with a space either you could do um, a green flag and then say that that character is going to do that when i hit the green flag or your character is going to do something. It doesn't have to be change size. It could be anything. You could have it play sounds if you wanted it to play a sound, although that would be quite distracting, having it play forever and playing a meow forever. It would be quite distracting. But hopefully that makes the point with these. Okay? Hopefully that was help you, helpful for you in, in making loops. 
and good luck in your uh, development and learning of Scratch. <laughs>